Hi YouTube, I'm chilling. Um, this is my second attempt at making this quick little vlog, but I wanted to talk about some of my New Year's resolutions of 2019. And I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions. I believe in our power to make change within our own lives and to change things about ourselves that we want to improve on in our present moment now. We don't need a new year as an excuse to make that happen. But anyway, I thought this would be a cool video. So here are my New Year's resolutions or the things that I have been working on um, and growing as a person in 2018 and in the coming year of 2019. So the first thing on this list is to rebalance myself. Now, I've been feeling very imbalanced. Um, a lot of things have been happening. I know I haven't posted a lot of content on YouTube in a while or really talked about the things that I've been going through or experiencing, but I have been experiencing so many different things and it, it's really hard for me to keep up posting content in conjunction with the rate of new things that happen in my life every day and just how much I ponder everything and, and really try to learn and be present in these experiences. But yeah, so the first thing is to rebalance myself. Now to follow that up, I want to unfollow everyone on my Instagram account uh, just so that I can be a little bit more present within my present reality right in front of me instead of a virtual reality so I can be more inspired by the things that are right in front of me as opposed to watching videos online of other people. I want to, I kind of want to do this little social experiment on myself to see how my relationship to my artistry changes uh, if I were to do that and just not be exposed to the lives of other people virtually uh, on a social media platform. I'll still post content, but I won't. I'm going to be a stickler about exposing myself to other people's stuff online. Number two or number three on this list is to create a successful business that I can be passionate about, something that will allow me to feel fulfilled and giving back to the people that love and support me too and is also in the realm of something that I truly believe in and also for that business to be a passive income stream to fund my travels, to fund more of the exploration of my artistry. Number five, I think is to read more books. I already started listening uh, to an audiobook or reading an audio book. Uh, I've already started working on some books, uh, Elon Musk's biography, which is very interesting. I find that I resonate a lot with the personality quirks of Elon Musk and some of the ways that he thinks. So that is really teaching me a lot about myself and I'm learning a lot of lessons from his experiences starting his first businesses and startups with PayPal, uh, Zip2 among some of them. I've also, as all, I've also started reading Zero to One. It's a book about startups who also worked with Elon on creating PayPal. A lot of good information in that one so far and I'm really still just sitting with it and learning from it. Terrence McKenna is another person that I very much intend to dive deeper into his knowledge and information of things in the realm of psychedelics and uh, altered states of consciousness. And Osho, I just love Osho. He's one of my favorite poets and spiritual writers, teachers, yada, yada, yada. Number six on this list is that I want to take more choreography dance classes. Now, I love to dance. Dance is something that has really healed my soul and really taught me a lot about who I am as a person and my voice in movement. But in that movement, I'm more of a freestyle mover. I don't really often go to take classes and learn choreography, solidified ideas. I just love to free flow and free form wherever my movement takes me, wherever my intuitive feeling takes me when I'm listening to a song. So that's something that I want to work on. I want to work on my choreography pickup. And to follow that one up as a New Year's resolution, I intend to create my first choreography concept video with other people. I'm a filmmaker and I have so many tools now. I, I've manifested all the things I could potentially need to create good content. And now is the time where I explore what I can create with it. And number seven on this list is my right arm got tired. Sorry, uh, ADHD. Now my seventh thing on this list is to collaborate with more podcasts, to share my voice more with people uh, surrounding the topics of different spirituality concepts and stuff like that. YouTube was a place for me to share my voice, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've been really questioning if I want to continue doing YouTube and if it's really uh, a calling for me. I feel that I'll always love making videos, but I don't know if I'll if I have it within me to be consistent on YouTube, at least not right now, because there are so many other things that I wanna work on and to balance it all, it's it's something that I'm learning, it's something that I'm working on, so I guess that is something that's entailed with all too. But 
to work with other people's platforms and to continue to share my voice uh, is something that I'm totally down for and I'm excited for. I worked with my friend Rosemary on her first uh, episode of her podcast and that was really fun. So I'd, like, I'd love to do more of those kinds of things and just talk about life with other people. Number eight, I think, is to travel more to new places. I believe I'm going to Germany. I hope I'm going to Germany with uh, Dragon Talent. I hope I'm going to Germany with Dragon Talent. I booked a gig out there. I'm being flown out to produce a show with a company called Maybe, not sure yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in a YouTube video, but not many people watch my stuff, so eh, who knows. And I believe that's everything for the Track me, track me, track me, there I am. And I believe that's everything for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope the audio was okay. I hope the way I was holding it didn't get in the way of my voice and what I was trying to say. Um, I got the new Osmo Pocket. I got a new backpack. I got a new laptop. I got so many new things with a lot of hard work that I put into my passions and into my performances and gigs. So I'm really happy about all of that. And now is the time to just create and continue exploring the depths of my consciousness. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a like and comment down below what your New Year's resolutions are or the things that you are working on within your own self too to grow and become a better person and accelerate in your own way, in your own life. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Love to all of you and happy new year. Bye.